In 2021, this was me. I created a real cloud in a real bottle using rubbing alcohol. And in 2024, I wanna remake that video, but this time I'm gonna provide more details as to why that even worked. You can find the old video in my story. I'm embarrassed, but I'm alive. Rubbing alcohol is very volatile. This could actually evaporate at room temperature. Say hello to my bottle. I named her Benny. My daddy name is Benny because one thing about my daddy, we never seen Benny without a bottle of alcohol. My daddy was an alcoholic. Only a few would understand that joke, but it really wasn't funny. What we want to do is make sure we spread the alcohol all over the bottle, essentially coating the bottle because in order for evaporation to happen, the alcohol has to be in contact with air. If I didn't spread it across the bottle, only the top of the rubbing alcohol would be in contact with air. Now that we have surface area, the next thing that we need is heat. Adding pressure to the bottle also introduces heat to the rubbing alcohol. I don't know about y'all, but I'm not happy with those results. Feel like last time I got a way better cloud. And I know the 2024 me is better than the 2021 me. Bro, I don't know if this is considered a fail or not. I could see it, but y'all can barely see it. For my last attempt, I'm going to put more alcohol into a regular size bottle and see if we can have an even better result. Yeet. Yeah, don't play with me like I'm not a are we actually creating a cloud? The answer is yes. Just like when water evaporates, it creates water vapor, AKA steam. And when rubbing alcohol evaporates, it also creates alcohol vapor, the steam from the evaporated alcohol. So at the point where the bottle is twisted, there's collected alcohol vapor. Now, when I release this, I'm suddenly adding cool air and that turns that vapor into condensation, AKA a cloud. What actually happens in the atmosphere, heat from the sun warms up the water on the earth's surface. When that water gets warm, just like when this alcohol gets gets warm, it evaporates. As that water vapor rises and rises and rises, the air from higher altitudes get colder and colder and colder. So when that warm steam hits cold air, it condenses back into tiny water droplets. And those tiny water droplets cluster together and that forms what we know as a cloud, which is basically a giant formation of condensation. In terms of the alcohol, when I release the pressure, I'm allowing cold air to enter into the bottle, which then in turn creates a cloud. Another example of condensation is a cold can that's been left out. You know how I get those little sweat beads on the outside? Actually, that's condensation, sis. It's basically like, it's it's a cloud. It's just not a formed cloud. There's actually water vapor in the air at all times. So when that warm water vapor hits the cold can of your cold drink, you have a cloud. Maybe I will go back to my videos from 2020 and 2021, and I'll see if I can recreate them with a better explanation. I see y'all coming a lot to Hood Science. What y'all don't know is that I actually had a series called Hood Science in 2021, so maybe it's meant to be.